Now in the sports arena, tributes continue to pour in following the death of Brazilian soccer legend Pele, the Brazilian football icon regarded as the greatest player of all time and a three-time World Cup winner died yesterday evening at the age of 82. According to Sao Paulo's Albert Einstein Hospital, where Pele was undergoing treatment, uh, he died due to multiple organ failure resulting from the progression of colon cancer associated with previous medical condition. The world continues to mourn Brazilian football legend Pele who died yesterday at the age of 82. The office of Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro, who leaves office on Sunday after four years in power, said in a statement that Pele was a great citizen and patriot, raising the name of Brazil wherever he went. Bolsonaro's incoming successor, President-elect Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, said that few Brazilians carried the name of the country as far as Pele did. President William Ruto eulogized Pele as a global icon of sporting excellency and an inspiration model who encouraged young men to transcend their limitations and defy all economic, social, cultural and political barriers. Pele at his peak was something to behold. He was made for football and many said football was made for him. He is credited with scoring a world record of 1,281 goals in 1,363 appearances during a 21-year career, including 77 goals in 92 matches for his country. Pele stands as the only player to win the World Cup three times, lifting the trophy in 1958, 1968 and 1970. And later was named FIFA's Player of the Country in 2000. Pele had been suffering from kidney and prostate problems in recent years. Edson Arantes do Nascimento, better known as Pele, became a global star at the age of 17 after he helped Brazil win the 1958 World Cup in Sweden, forcing his way into the starting line by the knockout stages. He scored the only goal in one nil victory over Wales in the quarterfinals, a hard trick against France in the same final, and two in a 5-2 triumph over the hosts in the final. Pelé at his peak was something to behold. 